welcome back to the vlog. So today I'm going to talk about this receipt. Now before I get down into what Starbucks have done here, I'm going to tell an old joke from like about 30 years ago, which illustrates what Starbucks is doing here. Now the joke runs like this. Three men walk into a restaurant and they order some food. Later the bill arrives and it works out that the bill comes to $25 so the three men, they're trying to work out, well, who's going to pay what and how's the tip going to work? And the waiter, he turns around and says, look, put down $30 on the table, so it's $10 each. I'll break up that $5, give you all back a dollar each, and I'll keep $2. So that $5 is broken up. He keeps $2. They all keep a dollar each. Everybody's happy with this. And then later, everybody's like, well, hang on a minute. If we all put down $10 each and all got back a dollar... That means we've paid nine dollars. Well, three nines are twenty-seven. If the waiter's got two dollars, where's the extra dollar? That joke is kind of indicative of what Starbucks has done with this receipt here. So the background on this is my friend Jason, he went into the Starbucks Chatham the other day, and the receipt that you see here was what was given to him. When he questioned it with the server, the answer was, well, it must be correct, it came out of the computer. So, <laughs> you know, this right here is the beginning of something very, very scary. Anyway, I asked him, it's like, yeah, can I do a vlog about this? And he was like, yeah, run with it. So, here, here we are. Now, the way that uh, receipts are supposed to work, they're, they're a little bit different on both sides of the Atlantic. So, whereas in North America, receipts are generally shown, here is the declared cost of the item, here is the tax applied to those items, and here is the grand total. In the UK, it's normally around the other way. You show the total price that the customer is going to pay. Now, this is very, very important here, because if you're going to show what the customer is going to pay and you don't explicitly point out where the tax is applied, then, you know, you get some confusion because this is just the way that it's done there. And I think this might be the root of what's happened, where Starbucks has tried to fudge, basically, a half baked version of the English style of doing a receipt where it's maybe done in an American style but anyway they've merged somehow and just totally fouled this up and I'm going to explain how. So you've got these items at the top which I've replicated on the right hand side in a spreadsheet and as you can see these items total eight pounds and 45 pence. So that declared cost of £8.45 as the net total, assuming that that's what they're showing here, you can see that there is no £8.45 anywhere on the receipt. So there is no net total without the VAT. They do then show that there is VAT of £1.30. Well, hang on a minute. They've got a net total of £8.05. If you have the 805 and you add the 130, we can see where this £9.35 comes from, but that does not match what, you know, should be calculated here. So we've got this net total of £8.45. They somehow have come up with a net total of 805 which is lower than the declared costs. So that means that there should be something somewhere that says which items have tax on and which ones don't, or how much tax there is. They've put a total on the left, which is totally incongruous with the fact that all of the numbers and subtotals are on the right. Like, you know, an accountant would never put the amount in the description. You always put it in the amount column, which, again, they've, they've messed this one up as well. So then you've got your net total and you've got your total with your VAT. But hang on a second, where is this 40 cents difference coming from? Their total is 805. Our total of adding stuff up is 845. So we've got a net difference of 40 pence here. So this 40 pence, like if you take their net total and add the tax to it, then it comes out as £9.35. But if you take our total and add the tax to it, then it comes out as 9 75 So again, we're back to this 40 cents difference between the 8 45 and 8 05 So I tried to work out, well, okay, are they mixing items that have tax and don't have tax in the top and then not declaring where the tax is or anything like that? So anyway, 
we then jump to this second spreadsheet. And as you can see, I've, I've basically taken, here's their declared cost on the receipt and tried to knock off the VAT on all the items to see if we could spot where the uh, taxes were. And basically, I came out with, assuming everything has tax on it at a rate of 20%, then there is tax of £1.40, which does not match their £1.30. So I am totally at a loss as trying to work out, like, this would mean that the declared cost should be 705 which doesn't match either. Like, there, there is so much wrongness here. Like, they, they are being so unclear. You can't actually work out what the net cost is. Like, where is this net cost? So the declared cost here of £8.45 arrives at a £1.40 VAT. Well, that doesn't add up. Like, none of this adds up. The entire receipt does not add up. It doesn't matter how you try to cut it. So I actually can't work out, and I'm normally a, a reasonable person when it comes to math, I can't see where they've arrived at these numbers because, again, they've declared it. it the declared total does not show up anywhere. And so where are these other numbers coming from? You know, the items total £8.45. That is not on the receipt. Like This is a perfect example of how you obfuscate information and build mistrust. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that Starbucks or the select service partner people have done anything illegal here, probably far from it, but they're definitely not helping with, you know, yeah, they're absolutely being about as clear as Guinness here. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it there today. If you like these, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. Speak to you soon. And I'll let you know if Starbucks ever get back to me.